Disclaimer, this video contains excessive profane language. If you have children in the room, or if you're easily offended by such language, please refrain from watching the video. I don't want you to subject yourself to tireless typing to explain to me why you don't like my speech. Have a good day. Bitch, what did you say? I have not done one of these in a while and I felt like I was overdue to do one of them because there is a lot of shit that has gone on that I haven't spoke on that has made me say, bitch, what? Okay, the first thing is going to be about this deranged motherfucker who um, shot up that Pulse nightclub down there in Orlando, Florida. Omar Mateen or whatever the fuck his name is. Well, bitch, there is a dude named Miguel. And I know I posted this on my Thick Chick Vlogs uh, like page on Facebook. So if you guys are not following me on my Thick Chick Vlogs uh, Facebook page, the like page that is, that will be down in the description box. I share a lot of shit over there that you guys do not know anything about. But bitch, this dude named Miguel, that's what he was going by. I'm pretty sure his name is not Miguel. But he sat down with Univision and did a interview basically saying that he was Omar Mateen's gay lover bitch. Yes, I know it has been a lot of rumors going around saying that this man was actually um, gay and that he was undercover and that he had a lot of disdain towards the, the Latin and the Puerto Rican community. Well, bitch, this dude Miguel said him and Omar Mateen had a, a gay relationship and they had a threesome with some other dude who Omar later found out was HIV positive. Said that Omar took several HIV tests and they all came back negative but he felt like it was too soon and that it was eventually going to come out positive so he wanted to get revenge on the gay community let me read you this shit verbatim bitch this did come from uh, media takeout but it was also reported by tmz and you guys know i try not to speak on shit unless it comes from tmz unless it's just some old you know celebrity gossip type of shit and we can talk about that but tmz actually also reported this of course they can't um, verify this being 100% authentic, but there has been several people in the gay community who have said that they have saw this Omar Mateen dude, who if you, Omar Mateen is the shooter, if you guys are a little bit confused on that, they have said that they have seen this guy's uh, profile on Grindr, Jax, and a lot of other gay dating sites. Shout out to the Scorpion show, I think it was last year, or maybe it was, or, or the latter part of last year, when the Scorpion put up um, a status on Facebook and he was saying, girl, if you ever see the Jack app on your man's phone, you need to be a little bit concerned or whatever, or you need to give him the side eye. And of course, all of the women were underneath the Scorpion's post like, what the hell are you talking about? What the fuck is Jack? Because we didn't know what Jack was. But Jack is apparently a gay dating site. And apparently this dude, Omar Mateen, had... He had a uh, profile on Jack. He also had a profile on uh, Grinder, and uh, I think they said BGC, which is, uh, I'm assuming that stands for Black Gay Chat or something like that. But let me read you this shit. It says, the, o the Orlando Massacre story just got wild. Omar Mateen's gay lover has just come forward and says that Omar may have committed the massacre because he was mad that he exposed Omar to HIV. The Hispanic man identified only as Miguel, and he did have on a disguise. A lot of y'all was like, damn, he was fucking with this old fucked up. Because, of course, the, the, the dude that's in the picture, he had, like, um, he looked like his skin was really deformed and he had on a wig and all that stuff that was actually a disguise and you can only imagine why this man had on the disguise there's girl i mean anybody who um knows anybody that's any relation or anything to this omar mateen dude these people's lives are in danger because number one come to find out that a lot of these people that were in this man's life his father his ex-wife his, um, well, I'm not going to say his ex-wife. His ex-wife said she knew his ass was crazy. But his current wife, apparently this bitch knew that this dude was planning on doing this and she didn't say anything. And I think they need to get her motherfucking ass for accessory to fucking murder. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let me keep reading because y'all know how I can go into my motherfucking rabbit holes, bitch. But it says the Hispanic gay man identified only as Miguel gave an interview to Univision and claims that he met Omar Mateen on the dating app Grinder. Miguel claims that he and Omar began hooking up, meeting up to 20 times at a hotel in Orlando, Florida. Mm -hmm. Miguel spoke openly describing Mateen as a confused gay man and a heavy drinker who was attracted to but felt rejected by Latinos. Then Miguel dropped a bombshell. He claims that Omar Mateen's massacre on Pulse nightclubs Latin night was an attempt at revenge after discovering that one of the two Puerto Rican gay men he'd had a threesome with was HIV positive. 
Yes, bitch, okay? Miguel claimed that he convinced Omar to have a threesome with another man, who Omar later found out was HIV positive. Speaking in fluent Spanish, this dude has a very, very thick Spanish accent. He had a lot of broken English. Miguel said that despite testing test coming up negative, Mateen feared not enough time had passed for an accurate result, and he wanted to make them pay. Bitch. So... Like I said, this dude, of course, he is going to, girl, when I say he going to bust hell wide open, okay, he going to burn there for all fucking eternity, girl, because this is the most fucked up shit because you, okay, were not comfortable with um, being who you were and because you felt rejected by a certain a group of people, you felt like you just had to get revenge on them because you made a fucked up ass choice to have apparently unprotected sex with someone and you feel like you have, you have contracted HIV, so you decided to go and get revenge on other people. Now, there have been several other stories that have come out of people who have um, been in uh, intimate relationships with people and who have contracted HIV and they have decided to go and just spread it all around because they feel like they need to get revenge on innocent people because they made a fucked up ass decision with sleeping, uh, sleeping with someone unprotected. Now, don't get me fucked up. I'm not trying to put it, you know, uh, uh, make light on the situation that someone will sleep with someone knowing that they're HIV positive without disclosing that information, they gonna burn in hell as well. If you sleep with somebody knowing that you're HIV positive and you don't disclose that information to them, that is some fucked up ass shit. But if you sit there and make the decision to sleep with someone unprotected and you contract HIV, um, now I'm not talking about you sleeping with your, your husband or some shit like that. Now, your husband, now, there has been a story. I want I want to make this perfectly clear because I don't want to come off and make people think that I'm saying, okay, if I sleep with my husband and I contract HIV and I decide to, you know, go and get revenge on, I, I'm not talking about anything like that. Of course, if you sleep with your husband and you contract HIV, that is fucked up because your husband is around here sleeping around, gave you HIV. I'm talking about the people who feel like they should go and spread it to other innocent people. You always need to protect yourself. But anyway, uh, girl, that's a whole nother thing. We're not, we not not going to go into the whole tangent. Don't try to come for me. Trust me. I'm not saying anything about the people who are with people and they trust the people and they have unprotected sex with them and they, they give them HIV. I'm not talking about that. Please don't try to come for me. Th those of you who know me, y'all will get what the fuck I'm saying. I'm kind of, you know, talking over myself right now. But bitch, all I'm going to say is this motherfucker right here apparently was right here having threesomes with men and he felt like he contracted HIV. So he decided that he was going to go and shoot up this nightclub during Latin night because he wanted a lot of Latin men and the Latin men didn't want his ass back. Bitch, this story is all kinds of crazy, okay? Now, we, let's talk about his current wife right now. Of course, her ass is in hiding right now because, girl, they keep releasing the information about where the fuck she is staying and all this type of shit. And, girl, okay, this bitch claims that she went with this dude when he went, to bought the, went, went and bought the weapon. This bitch even said that she uh, uh, staked out the place with him one time or two. I mean, girl, it's a whole lot going on with this fucking story. And the shit's getting crazier and crazier by the fucking day. All I know is there's a special place in help his fucking ass and they definitely need to do a little bit more research on his fucking daddy and his goddamn current wife because they all seem to be fucked up in the goddamn head and that's all i gotta say about that shit right there y'all can go to tmz or media takeout and read a little bit on this shit like i said they they, they weren't able to confirm that the 100 percent accuracy of this but they do say that um the fbi have been talking to him and apparently a lot of this shit is actual and fucking factual that this motherfucker did have some profiles on a lot of gay dating websites and you can't sit there and say well he was on maybe on these dating websites because he was trying to bitch why would you need to be on gay dating websites for you to decide to shoot up a nightclub? What the fuck does these these apps have to do with the nightclub? Absolutely nothing. So this motherfucker was in the closet. He was um, insane in the membrane. He was um, unable to accept his uh, sexuality because apparently they said he had been gay his entire life, of course. And uh, because of his parents, he decided to marry a woman, even though he knew that he was gay. And But he was still having affairs with men on the side. And apparently this dude figured felt like he had contracted HIV during a threesome that he had with someone and decided that he was going to go and get revenge on the Latin community girl just fucked up as hell girl but burning hell Omar Matain the next story that had me showing up like what the fuck there is a young lady down there in Louisiana let me get her name right her name is Shaquana Evita or Evetta 
Spears. She's 30 years old. She has three sons, ages 13, 12, and 10. Well, this young lady who um, has these three boys, she said these children are her life. She was at work one day and she received a phone call from one of her neighbors. Well, her neighbor called her at work and told her that she needed to get home immediately because she saw her sons going into her home with a lot of valuable items and a lot of bags and things like that. So the lady said she literally lived right around the corner from her job. So she said she was literally clocked out and back at home in like three minutes. Now she said when she got there, she saw her children trying to jump out of the window and run out of the back door. I guess because of course they weren't expecting her to be home. She said the reason why she came in the, you know, of course she was going to make them give the items back to the neighbor that they had stole the items from. Well, she said as they were trying to jump out of the window, she said she grabbed a belt that was on her uh, bedroom dresser and she proceeded to walk they ass with the belt because of course number one you 13 12 and 10 and you didn't broke into somebody's house and you just stole their shit i mean girl i don't know about you but i know that i got my ass whooped when i was a um a child and girl i turned out perfectly fine okay a bitch is doing pretty good i ain't out here breaking no damn laws and girl i'm i'm i'm, I'm a law-abiding tax-paying motherfucking citizen okay and i'm i'm perfectly fine and i got my ass whooped and this woman wasn't beating her kids with no damn iron skillet she wasn't beating them with no um, extension cords and no shit like that. She was literally whipping their ass with a belt like a person is. I mean, I, I know some people don't believe in whipping their children. They feel like that's not uh, how you discipline children. But girl, oh, ass whipping ain't never hurt no damn body. Well, that ain't the fucking killer, bitch. How about CPS or whatever, the Department of Human Resources or whatever the fuck, came to this woman's house and took her children away from her? Now, I shared this on my Thick Chick Blogs like page. Again, make sure you go over there and like that page because sometimes we have a little bit of a discussion over there as well. There's this young lady who said, well, you know, um... I said, you know, some people raise their children and they raise them right and their children still do things like this, okay? I know somebody who has done it who was raised very well, okay? Who was raised by very respectable parents and they made sure that they disciplined their children. They made sure they taught them right from wrong. And the boy still ended up doing something that was fucked up, illegal, and he ended up going to jail for it. But my whole thing is this. You got Department of Human Resources, the Child Protective Services that came and took this woman children from her home um, because she decided to whip their ass for breaking into somebody's house okay and my thing is this you got police officers that are around here killing our children they're around here beating the fuck out of them they're around here tasing them for simply talking to them okay if you decide that you want to be a little flip at the mouth with the police officer some of them will whoop your ass okay beat the fuck out of you pistol whoop your ass leave you um at the brink of death and then try to make it seem like you um had a weapon or some shit on you but if you try to discipline your children and keep them from doing shit that is going to end up getting them hurt or killed by a police officer you end up carrying your ass to jail so they carry miss shaquana to jail yes they carry her to jail and they took her three children away from her and put them into child protective services and of course this young lady you guys can uh google this um her name is shaquana evita spears now this particular art article right here said that she whipped them with a cord but i watched the video she said she whipped the children with a belt okay she whipped the children with a belt that is what she said from her own mouth you can go and watch the video but like i said i think it's really really fucked up and like i said this woman is clearly distraught in this um video you can clearly tell that this woman loves her children she said that her children are her life and she'll do anything for her children and she feels like they are all that she has and she feels like she is all they have so she says she knows that they're distraught by being put into child protective services and she's distraught by them not being with her she says she has never been away from around her children she's always done everything to try to protect her children which is one reason why she said she wanted to discipline them and she was upset that they had broken to someone's house because she doesn't want them to be a statistic she doesn't want them to be you know these badass kids out here that's breaking into folks shit going to jail getting shot and killed by the police so of course she wanted to do what my mom and daddy did and your mom and daddy probably did which was whoop their ass when you find out they did some fucked up ass shit like that y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section and of course they took her children from her she went to jail and now she has a criminal record this is just some fucked up shit y'all i want to know what y'all think about this one down in the comment section do you think it was justified them putting her in jail and do you think it was justified them taking her children away from her because she decided to whoop their ass for breaking into these people's house and making them give them their stuff back or do you think it was a fucked up ass situation i think she should have been applauded for that shit 
I applaud you, Miss Quana Spirits. Hopefully you get your children back, and hopefully all of this shit goes away because that is some fucked up ass shit. But like I said, I under, and my thing is this: I got one 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 thing to say about child protective services. Then I'm gonna get the fuck up off of here. Those people, okay, and I'm not talking about the good uh, uh, social workers. I'm not talking about the ones who actually give a fuck. I'm talking about the ones who sit there and go into people's homes that don't they don't the houses that they don't need to be going into. Okay, the people who are doing right by their children, people who are just disciplining their children, but you sit there and you overlook people around here who end up killing their damn kids. Please explain that shit to me. You sit there and go into people's homes who are simply disciplining their children by whooping their ass from time to time, okay? And I'm not talking about beating them with no damn cast down skillets and shit. I'm talking about a tap on the ass, okay? A ass whooping with a belt or possibly a fly swatter or a shoe, okay? Because I got my ass whooped with fly swatters and shoes, okay? That's what my mom whooped that ass with. But you got these people out here that are killing their kids and you didn't know nothing about it, but you sitting there going into people's houses who just simply whooping their kids' ass for fucking up, okay? I, I don't understand this shit, but like I said, I want to know what y'all think about that down in the comment section, and let's move the fuck on to the next bitch. What did you say? Next up, we're going to talk about Miss Hosslane, her motherfucking Nandez. Now, Hosslane, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to go into the whole rabbit hole about the Jocelyn and Stevie J drama that's been going on for the last couple of months, but girl, Jocelyn, now... Of course, all of this shit is alleged because she didn't put his name in the fucking tweet. But it's it's pretty ironic that she tweeted this right after she had went on a whole Twitter rant about him. Jocelyn put on her Twitter page at Oprah, let me come tell you my story. Sick men have to be put under his jail when there is little girls involved. Sick, sick devilish man should under okay I, i'm pretty sure she she ran out of characters or some shit like that but of course everybody is under the assumption that of course she is implying that stevie j has done something illegal to young girls and my thing is this miss hustling now Y'all know how I feel about grown folks touching on kids. I feel like if CBJ did some shit to some children, of course he should be under the fucking jail, okay? Right in motherfucking hell. Put their ass on an island by themselves. Y'all know how I feel about that goddamn shit. I can't stand nobody grown-ass men touching no little kids. But Miss Hosley and Hernandez, you have proven yourself to be a fucking liar, okay? You have proven yourself to be a motherfucking liar. And to me right now, it just seemed like your ass is just on these goddamn um, social media rants just on some old okie doke ass shit just to have some fucking shit to do. Ever since your motherfucking ass, matter of fact, bitch, after this last episode, I was gonna say after all the other shit that you done lied about, but bitch, after this last episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, where you sat there and lied, talking about CBJ got these damn babies out here because you simply wanted Mimi to be upset with him, bitch, you can't be fucking trusted, okay? Even if you did say that CBJ did some shit to little kids, unless some little kids come forward, or unless CBJ takes some type of lie detector test and they find out his ass is lying or some shit, bitch, you are not to be fucking trusted. Right now, it just seems like you just fucking trying to define this man fucking character. But you done went a little bit too far now, bitch. If you are, like I said, you didn't you didn't put his name in the motherfucking tweet, but everybody can read between the lines, bitch, and we can assume, okay, and of course, this is all an assumption. This is alleged. We can all assume that you are implying this is in regards to CB fucking J. But like I said, Miss Hosseline Hernandez, you cannot be motherfucking trusted. And if you knew that Stevie J was doing something to little kids and you didn't say nothing, guess what, bitch? You need it. it, it that, that says a lot about your ass if you knew he was doing this shit to kids and you didn't say anything either. But, bitch, like uh, Charlamagne the God said, bitch, you get the biggest hee haw. Because, like I said, you are not to motherfucking be trusted. And right now, I just feel like you could just going on these random ass fucking Twitter tangents because, I mean, I, you and Stevie J ain't together. And not only that, bitch, um, we know that the Love and Hip Hop Atlanta reunion is coming up. So, we know that your ass, y'all gonna show up, be hyping this shit up. Like I said, I would not put anything past Mona Scott, but this whole. Uh, uh, little girls shit right here yeah and hopefully the little girls um reference is to maybe people who are 18 19 years old maybe that's what you're meaning but of course since this is on a lot of the blogs people are assuming you're you're trying to insinuate that stevie J was fucking around with little kids but like i said bitch you are not to be trusted because you have proven yourself to be a motherfucking liar bitch now this one right here gonna make y'all motherfucking gag again y'all need to go over and like my thick chick blog's facebook page not the one where you have to add me as a friend the one where you actually go and like it i'll make sure i put that as the very first link Facebook link down in the description box. The like page, bitch. The like page. Well, Kyrie Irving from the Cleveland motherfucking Cavaliers, bitch. Y'all know that the Cleveland Cavaliers are the NBA champions, bitch. Girl, okay, they had the, the Cavs um, championship parade down there in Cleveland, bitch. Well, 
Kyrie Irving was out there, you know, waving and shit at the fans. But, bitch, when I tell you, oh, what they call that shit, eggplant Tuesday, whatever the fuck they be having, bitch, that, that's, girl. I don't know what the fuck that was he had in his, if, if that was his eggplant, bitch, I don't know who his woman is, but girl, I feel sorry for your ass. I ain't, I know some people were ooh and ah over that shit, don't get me wrong, I was looking and my eyes was booked and shit, but bitch, that motherfucker is packing a tree trunk twin your lip. Now it ain't, it ain't X-rated or no shit like that, he ain't naked, but you, I mean, he might as well be, bitch, because you can see almost damn near everything through them damn pants. So if you want to see that photo, head on over to my Thick Chick Vlogs like page and get your motherfucking like, bitch. And that is all I have for you guys today on this bitch, what did you say? Y'all let me know what y'all thought about all of the subjects that I talked about in this here particular video down in the comment section. And do not forget to go over and add me on my Thick Chick Vlogs like page. Like it, girl. Not the one where you have to add me as a friend because, girl, I have so many friend requests over there and I have to go through each and every one of the individual um uh pages because i do check so i i go through them very very slowly sometimes i might accept two or three per day so just go over and like the like page because i do post though on my like page every day and it's kind of sort of the same thing i post the same thing on my like page as i do on the friends list so Go and like that like page, bitch. Like I said, leave comments down in the comment section. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed them. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.